No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest, is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hey guys, Andy with No Film School here at NAB 2018 at the Road Booth with Ryan Burke from Road Microphone. So what do you have for us, Ryan? All right, so we have uh, the very first Soundfield and Road collaboration, the Soundfield by Road NTSF1. So this is a ambisonic microphone. And for those of you who don't know what ambisonics is, basically we're using a tetrahedral capsule array here to capture the entire set of audio information around the microphone. So this is a 360 microphone for VR production. Exactly, not just for VR, VR but also for, for 5.1, any, sort of any kind of yeah. surround audio production, or any audio that you want to be able to reshape in post-production. Mm -hmm. So imagine you record the signals, there's four balanced signals out of this microphone that you record into your uh, Zoom F8, or if you've got like a Sound Devices Mix Pre or something like that. And so what's um, the output on this? So the output, I'll show you right here. There's four XLR cables. So this is known as A format, straight out of the microphone. So you've got one, two, three, four channels, and that just goes straight into the bottom of the microphone with a nice Megami cable uh, with a 10-pin Neutrik connector there. You connect that up, pop the uh, microphone into the shock mount that comes with the mic, and also the windshield that you pop onto the microphone, and then that's your full ambisonic recording setup right there. So imagine you're normally using a microphone that is directional or omnidirectional, as in the case of this Rode Reporter mic, but once you actually pick up the audio, if you want to change where you are listening in post-production, you can't do that with a normal microphone. With an ambisonic microphone, you can simply just move the array around and steer the audio in any direction while still cancelling out the background noise that you don't want to actually pick up. So it's pretty amazing. It uses true condenser capsules, which is different to uh, a lot of the other capsule technology out there, like electrets. Uh, they're lower noise, which means that you've got a very low noise broadcast grade signal out of this microphone and the best part is the entire kit that comes with the windshield, the cable and the shock mount is $9.99 US. This the whole thing is $9.99 US? Yeah, yeah, Great. totally. Was this in response to market demand? What made you guys uh, move into this? So we acquired a company called Soundfield uh, mm -hmm. in November of 2016. Now Soundfield were basically the earlier pioneers of ambisonic audio. Back in the 1970s was when ambisonics was first uh, invented by a man named Michael Gerzer. Um, and since then, it's kind of progressed more toward broadcast of sporting games. So a big market for Soundfield has been for the 5.1 mix of like the English Premier League, um, different areas like that, and also some high-end kind of recording of ambiences. And nowadays, it's almost like the film technology has finally caught up to the point that ambisonic audio can be a be really important. special part yeah. of a production. Yeah. So your typical VR production would involve having the microphone placed in the shock mount with the windshield. Right next um, to the camera. Yeah, exactly, right next to the camera. And then your ambisonic audio is what actually sets the scene for the rest of the audio. So that's your, your anchor point for that audio. And what that means is that when you put that into your processing application, it, there's actually a, a, an application that'll be available within a couple of months called the Soundfield by Rode plugin. And that's uh, a proprietary application and that's the only way to access the files? Yeah, so well basically generic, when, you, a, when you record, you've got your four tracks, then you put it into your uh, editing software, whether that be Reaper, Pro Tools, Logic, uh, and then you pop the Soundfield by Rode plugin onto that and that enables you to shape the audio in any way that you like. Would, so would someone using Audition be able to work with these files with, or would, they would have to get the plugin. You would need the, the plugin. So the plugin's free. Mm -hmm. um, you can get a whole bunch of different B format files online to play with. Uh, and that's like the, the real uh, ambisonic um, format. When you get into B format, that's when you can start shaping your audio. So we can make a 5.1 signal, a 7.1 signal, just about as many patterns as we want to pick up with height. We can steer it around. And then when you're doing a VR production, with head tracking, you can actually move that audio and really listen to the audio that was on set at that time, and that's what makes it really special. So when you pair that up with some spot mics on different areas of the set that you really want to accentuate to draw the viewer's attention, that's how you get an immersive audio experience in VR. Great. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Ryan. Cool. No problem at all.